Hi everyone, um, I'm Karen. I'm the consultant, I'm the Epic Care consultant for this impromptu uh, dis uh, demo. I was gonna make something and I said, oh, I'll just come on and show you guys some of our stuff. Um, we have this February only special of this teppanyaki sauce and I haven't made it yet. And someone was asking my VIP group about it. And I said, well, I'll make it. So I'm gonna make this and I thought I'd just make some quick French fries in my air fryer and show you a few of the things that we have while I do it. So the other day I was watching this chef and he talked about how you can tell if you have a good knife. And this is our, our Prep Pro chef knife. It has a ceramic blade. It has this bull nose tip here so it keeps it from breaking. And it's, um, the ceramic is, um, won't stain because it's black. And then the handle is really ergonomic. It holds, so <laughs> I'll tell you right to begin with. I learned how to flip my camera in this so that everything looks like when I show you the teppanyaki, you can actually read it. But everything I do is backwards from the way I think it is. So if I'm, I'm going the wrong way, that's why. <laughs> the handle has a coating on it, which makes it so that you can easily grip it. It's really comfortable in your hand. So anyways, the chef said, if you wanna know if your knife is sharp, take an apple and drop it on your knife. And if it bounces, get a new knife. So I have a potato, didn't bounce. I figured a potato is as good as an apple, right? So now I've got cut marks in my potato, but I'm just gonna slice these up. And I, I practiced to make sure it was not going to bounce, right? So I have a few cut marks, but I'm just gonna cut this up and I'm gonna throw it in my multi-purpose steamer and I'm gonna cook them for a few minutes and then I'll throw them in my air fryer. So, over here I'm just using one of our cutting mats. I should show you. It's in here somewhere. My favorite cutting board that we have. This is our non-slip cutting board. Oops, see I'm going the wrong way. It has um, four feet on it and when you put it down, you guys see that? doesn't move. It stays right where it's supposed to be and it's two-sided. So you can use one side, flip over and use the other side. It's awesome. But we also have this set of cutting mats, two small, two large ones. All right, so this baby right here, this is whoop, fantastic. This is our multi-purpose steamer. Comes with a tray and on this tray you can make um, half a pound of bacon, one minute per slice. Just put it in there. Grease all drips down, it comes out perfect. Um, you can make potato chips. We have a mandolin, you can slice up uh, potatoes or sweet potatoes real thin, lay them all out, put them in the microwave just on the tray. I use the tray when I'm making rice in this, keeps it from spilling over. Um, what else do I use the tray for? Oh, if you wanna put your um, protein in the bottom, vegetables on the top, so you can make a, you know, a one pot meal. It's fantastic for taking your frozen, um, frozen meats, thaw them out, cook them in here even. Um, everything just comes out so uh, moist and delicious in here. Whoops, and I dropped my things. All right, I'm gonna put these in the microwave and that will make them cook faster in the um, air fryer. So it comes with the, all of our steamers have these vents on them, steamy vents. And when you put your lid onto your steamer, you want the handle to go perpendicular to where it says Epicure. All right, let me stick it in the microwave. That's Ellie, my daughter Ellie. She loves to be on camera. I think I'll put that on for three minutes and then I will preheat my air fryer, which I hope won't be too loud. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna make the teppanyaki sauce. So teppanyaki, if I hadn't already said so, is a a Japanese steak sauce, which I don't know that I've ever had. But everyone keeps raving about how delicious it is. So I'll give it a try. Oh, the, the recipes for our mixes are right on the bottle. And this says half a cup of sauce, stir two tablespoons of mix with a third of a cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of water, two teaspoons of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of sesame oil. How many times do you think I'm gonna have to go back and see what it is? Oh, this one isn't open. I thought it was. All right. Brand new jar of mayonnaise. Um, I measured out a tablespoon of water in our prep bowls. These come in sets of four. They come with these purple silicone lids, which you fit right on there. They work great. 
And they also have markings on them so you can use them as a measuring cup. So I'm going to put the water in. I am going to put a third of a cup of mayonnaise in. This here is our three-in-one spatula. It mixes, it scrapes, and it does something else. It's great, right? What is the other thing it does? <laughs> uh, I can't think right now what the other thing is it does. Somebody tell me if you know. Mixes, scrapes, oh, and it's got a little spoon on it. That must be the third thing. <laughs> Lost my mind there for a minute. All right, so it's really great for getting something out of the bottom of the bowl. I use it for stirring all the time. I use it for stir frying. I love it. All right, and what did I say? Two teaspoons of rice vinegar. This is our four-in-one measuring spoon, which actually I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use the dry ingredients first. So it's two tablespoons. So this is one tablespoon on this side, a teaspoon on this side, and if you flip it over, it's a half a teaspoon and there's a line in the middle so you can do a quarter of a teaspoon. So this takes the place of a drawer full of, see I told you, a drawer full of different kinds of spoons. So these are designed to fit inside of all of our jars. So, put that right in there. And it's really sturdy, so you can even use it as a stirring spoon. I do that quite often as well. All right, so I need a teaspoon, no, two teaspoons, right? Told you. Two teaspoons of vinegar, rice vinegar. And then a teaspoon of sesame oil. Does anybody go to like a Japanese steakhouse? Hi, Kelly. Um, I've never been to one, so I don't know that I've ever had Japanese steak sauce. All right, I do love steak though. This is our mini whisk, which is currently out of stock, but it's coming back. Love this little guy. Right. Definitely has a very Asian smell to it. it. Smells really good. The main ingredient is um, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds, garlic, organic miso powder. It's got some organic palm sugar, ginger, organic tamari powder, and parsley. It's got some things in parentheses, which I think are the like what the organic miso powder is: soybeans, rice, that kind of stuff. All right. So that is all made, and I'm going to give it a little taste. I can't tell you what it tastes like because it's good, but I don't know what the, I don't eat a lot of Asian food, so I don't know what to compare it to, but it's good. It's got that, that sesame taste, like, uh, like hummus maybe? I don't know. Really good. That's going to go on the fries. Oh, let's see what we're doing here. I have a bad habit of taking this out with no oven mitts. Sometimes that doesn't feel good, but it's not hot. It's just like the steam. Right, let me see if that looks like it's enough. Oh yeah, nice and soft. So you can see, I didn't put any water in any of these. When you, use it, when you make your um, vegetables in the steamer, you don't need to put any water. I mean, I'm gonna drain the water off of this and put some oil on it. This is our our collapsible strainer, which also doubles as a trivet. So I'm just going to pop this out. We're just going to drain off this water. One thing you can do, actually I probably don't even need to use it. This folds up, so you can just drain it off that way. I'm not even going to dirty that. And I'm just going to spray some oil, put some salt on this, and dump that right in the air fryer. Now one thing to know with our um, silicone cookware is don't use cooking spray. It will void your warranty. But this is just oil in a in a misto bottle. No uh, propellants or whatever it is that makes it not good. This is just some salt. I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer. Just to crisp them up. 
Alright, so I'm going to try to think of some things that I make in this. Uh, soup. Popcorn. All you do with popcorn, you don't have to use any oil or anything. Just pour the popcorn kernels on the bottom. Put the cover on, stick it in the microwave. If you like buttered popcorn, butter your lid. Put all butter in your lid. And then put it on there, and then it pops the popcorn, and it melts the butter all evenly. What are you doing? We also have this rectangular steamer, and that's the smaller version of that. It doesn't come with a tray or anything like that. Um, but this is great for your vegetables. You can make oatmeal in this. And I make popcorn in this all the time. Same way as the other one. Just put it in the bottom. Put your butter on the lid if you want it. It's awesome. So this is the Raw to Ready in 20 Minutes cookbook that we have. And it has all kinds of recipes for using our steamers. It has microwave cooking tips in the front. And then in the back, there's a chart, which does come with your steamer. That tells you, I told you, I got backwards. Um, the ingredient, the quantity, the cooking directions, cooking time and all that. So when you cook your vegetables, excuse me, you do not need to put any water, as I said. That keeps all your nutrients in your food. It doesn't, get, it doesn't leach out into your water. Um, these are food grade silicone. They're not, um, they're not plastic. They're perfectly safe for the microwave. They're made for that. Oh, they also go in the oven and the dishwasher and the freezer. So very versatile. I use my, I literally use one of my steamers every day. We also have a new round steamer, which I don't have one of. I did have one, and I gave it away in a drawing, and then we, that was for a um, special that we had in December, and then they just came out in the new catalog, and there was delays because of COVID. They just came out this week. So it's similar to this, almost the same size. It's round. It's great for roasting a chicken. You could do a whole chicken in this as well. Um, not a huge one, probably under five pounds. I've done like a five-pound chicken in mine, and I could post a video of, of how juicy it came out in the microwave. It was like 25 minutes, I think. Um, we also have, I don't, I don't know. I was gonna say something else about this. Maybe it'll come to me. Um, this is our omelet maker. And so you can put a couple of eggs and some vegetables or dip mix or whatever you want and um, throw that in the microwave. Now, I think the directions say three minutes. My microwave does not take that long for, a, for an omelet, probably two. Um, yesterday I used this to make I had to go to my daughter's and I brought some frozen chicken tenderloins and frozen peppers and some of our fajita mix and I just made a fajita right in this, um, right in the microwave, just cooked it right in the microwave and brought a tortilla along and had that for my lunch. And in the morning I made French toast with it. I took bread with me because I was complete and I had to go help her with her kids and so I cut up the bread and I put it in the, um, put a rubber band around it, took it with me and then when I got there I put my apple pie spice which we have really good apple pie spice. Apple pie spice and um, egg in there and put that in the microwave. That was delicious. All right, if anybody's out there and you have any questions, I can see, so you can ask me and I will tell you. Or if there's something you'd like to see that you've seen in the catalog, I have almost everything in the catalog. This is our multi-purpose pot. Right now, this one's only available in our kitchen setup collection. This is our eight cup pot. The lid has two different sizes of of holes for straining. Okay. It has this ergonomic handle that doesn't get hot. I mean, if you put it this over the flame, it's going to get hot, but if this is not right over the flame, it doesn't get hot. You can pick it right up. And then it's got markings on the inside in liters and in cups. So this is the eight cup pot. It's also, uh, you can put it on an induction burner. And we have a 12 cup pot, which I don't have yet, but I might buy partly because we got a new stove and it's got this big burner and my old pans that have the plastic, the, like the Farberware pans, they have plastic lids and they keep like, melting on the stove. Those will not melt. Uh, what else? I could show you some meal solutions. You also made, oh, enchiladas. Yes, I've made enchiladas in the steamer. We have an awesome enchilada mix. Uh, burritos. What else have I made in there? Oh, um, Rice Krispie Treats. You can make, these things are so easy to clean. So you know when you make the Rice Krispie treats and it's all stuck to the bowl and you gotta let it soak and everything? Not with this, you, it, it comes out 
I, you make the whole thing right in here. Do your, your um, marshmallows and your butter, throw it in the microwave, add your cereal in, mix it up. You could actually press it right in here and then dump it out and cut it later, or you can press it into something else. Um, and then it just cleans up like, like nothing. It's so, so awesome. Oh, I can show you our, hang on. These are our sheet pans. We have two sizes. This is the, the bigger sheet pan. And these are our silicone uh, liners. So you know how you put parchment paper in and then you make something and it goes, or foil, and it goes underneath and then you still have a mess on your pan. These have a nice lip on them, so that's not going to happen. Awesome. This is our, our sheet pan in this size. can be used as a tray. You can use it for all kinds of things. And then these are our, our quarter sheet pans. So if you don't want your food touching and you want two different things, you can put those right in your oven side by side. Or if you want to, you can use the big pan and put the two liners like this side by side right in the same pan. Like that, and you can make, if you want your vegetables here and your chicken here or whatever, um, you can do that. So that's excellent. I'll show you the sizes of our jars. So our, you saw these, this is the size, the teppanyaki is the size of our um, dressing mixes. We have four different kinds of dressing, salad dressing mixes, Caesar, sesame ginger, Greek, and balsamic. Um, I've ha I have all of them, but I've only tried two, and they both, the balsamic and the Greek are excellent. And then it looks like I need to order some more fajita mix, but this is the spice size. So we have fajita and taco in this size, apple pie spice, the cinnamon, and then our dip mixes. This, oh, this is the size. This is the size jar the dips come in. So if you can see, I'll hold them up together so you can see the differences. Connor, you can just come. That's my son, Connor. All right, so those are the three different sizes of the jars. Let me check my, check my fries over here. Oh yeah, they're coming along. Those won't, be, those won't take too much longer, so I'll just show you a few of our meal solutions here. Actually, I have them in this box here. I think I have two, is this the right one? We have two sets going on right now. And I think these are all messed up, so I'll just show you what we got. We have the um, three weeks of dinners, and then we have uh, 30 days of dinners, two different ones. One's the winter warm-up, which is in the catalog all the time, and then we have our February exclusive, which I cannot think of the name of at, this, at the moment. February exclusive, what is it called? Maybe it's what's for dinner. So we have beef stroganoff. So with these um, meal solutions, the <clears throat> all of your your, your mix ingredients are in the packet, and then on the back here, it'll tell you how many servings, and it gives you all the directions. And the ingredients that you need are in bold, so if you're doing your meal planning, you can grab out your five meals for the week or whatever, and just look at the look through your list here to make your shopping list, and you'll have everything that you need. There's lots of um, recipes on our website to use them, not just for the one thing that's on the meal solution, but for other things. My sister made um, meatballs with this yesterday and then made some kind of a dipping sauce that was on the website and she said it was excellent. I want to try that. I love meatballs. We have our Alfredo sauce, buffalo wings. This is the enchilada I was talking about. This is our um, doner, which is basically a gyro seasoning. That's delicious. We have two kinds of taco seasoning. We have this taco that comes in a packet which has some cornstarch in it for thickening and this is a mild heat taco seasoning and then we have a taco seasoning what did I do with that fajita seasoning I guess I put it over there but in the small jar we have a taco seasoning and that one doesn't have any thickening agent in it and it's a medium heat we have a, several different kinds of uh, Thai dishes we have a Thai red curry we have a pad Thai we have um, our new Thai coconut soup that's delicious 
um, sweet and sour stir fry. These are also an Asian meal, the crispy and crunchy lettuce wrap. And this beef and broccoli stir fry is so yummy. You don't have to use beef, you can use chicken. Just check these fries. They're just about those sort of stuff. They're pretty well done. I'll just go to them in a minute. Pulled pork is excellent. Oh, butter chicken. I always think, oh, this is in my top five. A lot of these are in my top five. More than five. Uh, the General Tao is just so yummy. So yummy. Our rotisserie chicken. This is what I used when I did the chicken in the multi in the multi-purpose steamer. Or you could use the new round steamer. Um, this is really, really yummy. And um, all of our our products are gluten-free, nut-free. Some of them have coconut. That's the only thing. No, no nuts. And then... Uh, I was gonna say, oh, low sodium, low sugar. So this has, let's see, one serving has 170 milligrams of sodium. Not bad. All right, this is delicious. I think someone posted a picture of it that they made it this week. And maybe this creamy pesto parmesan chicken. It's like restaurant a restaurant quality meal. So, and then we have desserts. This is our newest one, the luscious lemon curd. There's a recipes out there for, you know, just making the tarts. There's a lemon bread. There's even lemon chicken. So you don't have to just, you don't have to do sweet. You can do something more savory with it. The Thai coconut soup I mentioned. Oh, this, this classic meatloaf is absolutely delicious. And you can make it, believe it or not, you can make it in this rectangle steamer in less than 10 minutes. It is fantastic. Comes out so good. Don't be afraid of the microwave. I know some people think, oh, I've never cooked in the microwave. But things come out so juicy and delicious. And I can post some of my YouTube videos that show. I have a video of me making, um, I believe, fajitas. Um, some different things here. So let me grab my air fryer. Basket. Turn this off. show you before I go. I do have a really nice mandolin and I have used it to make french fries but I like I like the big fat ones and this makes it skinny. So if you like shoestring fries you're going to love this. But it comes with four different blades. One is two of them are just these flat blades and they are 1.5 and 3.5 millimeters depending on how thick you want them. And then these two, can you see that? We'll slice them. This one's really thin, and then the other one's a little bit wider. But, and it comes with, of course, with the, the guard so you don't cut your fingers off, because that would not be fun. All right, so anyways, let's give this, I don't wanna burn my mouth on this French fry now, do I? Let's give it a little taste here with the real Real sauce. My husband just got home. Let's see. Mm. It's yummy. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can private message me, you can post them, and I will answer them. Thanks.